Hope you guys are doing all right. It's, it's Saturday. Enjoy it. It's Saturday, probably around 8 a.m. right now. How you guys doing? Do you have any weekend plans? I don't think I'm gonna be doing too much out of the ordinary, but I do wanna show you something. This finally arrived in the mail yesterday, Kraken V2. There's already a couple unboxing videos on YouTube, so I'm just gonna do a little show and tell, show you what that looks like. And I gotta say, this is probably the first time with a Pete's Pirate Life product where I've been more excited about the packaging than the actual product itself. Either way, the detail on this one is just next level. Look at this thing. Got the Pete's Pirate Life embossed in gold, and then check this out. I think I might just peel that off and use it as a coin. <laughs> Fly the flag on the inside right there, obviously. Puzzle case. Look at this thing. This is probably my favorite thing about this, this release, is this little wooden puzzle box. And if you're stuck trying to figure it out, I think there is instructions underneath here, but it just says figure it out. I honestly probably wouldn't have seen that if I didn't see somebody else show the bottom of the box. And you can hear it rattling in there. If you have one on the way, I'm gonna let you figure out how to open it. Version two, the Kraken. Version one, completely damaged. See along the edge, it's just all Scratched up like crazy. Products are made to be used. This one's a little bit bitter, bigger than V1. Not by much. Pretty decent weight, and it also came with a leather sleeve. But honestly, again, with this release, I think it was more about the packaging than the coin itself. We also got this uh, NHL 07 coin. Kirk, deal's still on, man. Pirates Reserve for the, for the EA Sports NHL 07 edition. That's like a vintage at this point, 07? What are we, in 2020? <laughs> Got all aside, it's the afternoon and the sun's already out. So, uh, hilarious story. A couple of months ago, not a couple, like six months ago, I ordered this um, LeBron James kind of like figure to sit on your desk with the basketball. And it became very clear to me after a couple of weeks that there was nothing coming. I can't. I sent customer support a few emails and they would just send me the exact same customer service responses. So I'm like, okay, I've been completely scammed and I'm never gonna see this thing ever. So I just kind of just started every once in a while sending an email saying, hey, my thing still hasn't arrived and just kept, kept prodding them to see what would happen. Eventually it would just cycle through the exact same responses over and over and over again. And I just eventually gave up. I'm like, it's not coming. Today, Check this out. It's completely waterlogged and moldy, which is kind of disgusting, but it would have been a pretty sweet package. And here it is. So the LeBron did arrive. It is nothing like expected. The whole mechanism thing for attaching it to here just just doesn't doesn't work. There's a little magnet in his back. Pretty funny story. I definitely thought I was not going to get this thing and it did arrive. So I should email them and tell them, "Hey, it did arrive even though it's completely destroyed." It's been so long since I've been scammed on an internet thing. I don't actually ever think I've been scammed. And that's why I kind of let my guard down. I remember I was looking on Facebook Marketplace. That ad came up and I was like, sure, why not? I'll, I'll buy it. Not everything is Amazon. Amazon has created like this, this culture of guaranteed arrival. <laughs> Either way, I'm relieved to say it did arrive and uh, there's a little piece of me that is gonna sleep better tonight knowing that I didn't get scammed by besttimely.com. Gotta run Foxy to get some stuff for dinner tonight, uh, which is in, in 30 minutes. They haven't even started yet. Set 
the bay, 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 it's that sweet. He's still there. Kind of makes me happy. I like him. Thanks, weird company. 180 degree shutter speed rule. Gives that tasty motion blur. Some sweet blue. That's right, when you order a coffee from Revolver and we grind it, it is cut in half with a Leatherman tool. Man, I gotta say, as much as I miss my Switch Pot, which I really do, I love it, this, uh, this Gorilla Pod that I've been using, it's it's not the best, and the Switch Pod is definitely better, but they're really not as bad as everyone makes them out to be. I think a lot of people got caught up with, how am I gonna review my Switch Pod, and just turned it into a, well, let's just talk about how much we don't like the Joby. I'm not saying that it's not valid to think that, to slam the Joby and say that the Switch Pod's better, I'm just saying I think a lot of people embellished it in, in regards to talking about the Switch Pod. Like, nobody really talks about the Switch Pod without talking about how much they don't like Gorilla Pods. I get it, it's not a perfect tripod and pick up, but it's actually quite comfortable to hold. I'm definitely switching back to my Switch Pod when I get that replacement piece, but I just, I need to get that off my conscience. It's 5.43 and I've gotta clean up here quickly because I'm technically supposed to be Janna's in 15 minutes. Do you think I can make it? 5.51. I think I can make it, guys. I think I can make it. Please don't leave me in the dark, it's not a real song, I'm just singing cause I'm bored. 5.58, we did it. Alright guys, that's it for today, I gotta wrap it up. Um, Jana's gonna be down in about two seconds and um, yeah, we're gonna get a good start to our Friday hopefully. So enjoy the rest of your weekend if I don't see you tomorrow. And uh, remember, if you like this video, to give it a thumbs up. If you like me, consider subscribing to the channel as uh, we're going to be doing this a lot more. So, have a great weekend. Catch you guys later. Peace!